In this tutorial, we are going to <clears throat> go over uh, how to create a, a new repair order. So I'm in the repair module right now, and if uh, we're creating a new repair order, uh, it's as simple as, as clicking this new button here and then filling out the required information. So in order to start a new repair order, we need uh, a description of what is what needs to be fixed. So uh, in this one, uh, the repair description is replace uh, electrical cord. And uh, we'll just go with that. And then the product to repair, uh, for this example, I'm going to use a a product that has a serial number so that you can you can see how that looks. So um, I'm going to go into our sewing machine, and you'll notice that the lot and serial number shows up here. Now, if this is a specific sewing machine or a specific part, and uh, the person didn't buy that uh, item from you, you can go ahead and create your own serial number. Now, if it's uh, one that you've previously worked on or an item that you sold, uh, there will be a serial number associated with it. So in this, uh, in this example, we're just gonna go ahead and create uh, a new serial number for this or, or, or essentially take the, so the serial number off of the, the machine that just came in. So it's, uh, and then we can just go ahead and create that, and that will create the, the serial number in the system. Uh, we need to choose our customer, and here we can either type in or search for our customers, and it'll bring up that uh, all our entire customer list. Uh, we are going to, uh, this one is for our friend uh, Ronnie Hart, and we'll add them there. If you had a sales order that was uh, accompanying this, you could select it here, or a return, you could select it here, the return order, uh, not required. Uh, the scheduled date is the date that it's due, that you uh, told the customer that you would have it back to, so uh, we have a one-week turnaround here, and the responsible, this will be the person that uh, is responsible for this repair, and then your, your location, because this is coming in from our customer, we want to choose uh, our partner or customer location. Uh, uh, the company will be pre-populated. And then if there's a warranty on this, and you can put an expiration date. Uh, this last part here is the invoice uh, method. Uh, so we can go ahead and, and say, hey, this has a warranty through uh, the end of the month. And then the invoice method, uh, you can say there's no invoice, that this is going to be a free repair, or uh, we, can after, we can do after repair. So uh, the invoice and address will pop up. It will bring in the public price list. If you have different price lists for different people, you can choose those, and then any tags that you want to put on uh, or create. Uh, so that's how you can create the initial... Uh, repair order. You can save that and uh, we'll go in on the next video on how to add parts with the operations, repair notes, and uh, quotation notes do. But that creates the, the general repair order.